The following caucus will be decided under elimination of tag and match rules. There are six competitors. Only two competitors in the ring at the same time. Any competitor can tag in another competitor and leave the ring. Competitor can eliminate another competitor by pitfall submission. The last competitor not eliminated will be carried away. It is stipulated that the winner gets a title shot at the WAW Championship in the main event of next week's aftermath. Entry first, hailing from Lynn, Massachusetts, Dr. Ross! This is a massive opportunity for all involved in this contest. The winner will receive a WAW Championship match in the main event of aftermath next week. Buck DeRoss making his way out first. We're also going to see Afro Man, Grimm, JT Lambo, Sage Zarello, along with Riley, and Gino Diomedes, all in this contest, all vying for a chance to challenge whomever the WAW champion may be next week here on Aftermath. It could be Epo, or it could be Staples. We'll find that out later on tonight, but now, after the entrance of all of our combatants, we will find out who will be waiting to find the results from tonight's main event. Can I break your leg? Entry second, coming down Riley Coyote, hailing from Northbrook, Virginia, the Eagle of Justice, Sadie Serrano! And here comes the Eagle of Justice, Sage Zarello, along with his uh, manager, whore, skank. Uh, I don't know what you'd like to call her. It's Riley Coyote. Here comes Sage Zarello with Riley following from behind. Funny, usually she's in the front of guys. In any event, we're going to stay away from her... Uh, promiscuous ways we're going to focus on what's happening here and that is a six-man tag-in contest for a WAW championship shot next week here on Aftermath and once again here on Aftermath Sage continues to butcher the great American smile song Eagle of Justice with his own crappy vocals Next out is a member of Full Metal Jacket, JT Lambo, looking to make an impact in the singles division for Full Metal Jacket, and he has a chance to do so here tonight by being victorious in this tag-in match. Lambo enters the ring. We've got three in the ring, and we've got three to go. Afro Man, Grim, and Gino Diomedes still the cup. Entry four, hailing from Red Rock, Colorado, the Dark Messiah, Gino Diomedes. Gino Diomedes receiving yet another opportunity to challenge the WAW Championship. Like him or hate him, you kind of have to admit that Carnage screwed him out of the title shot last week. You know, Gino has done some down and dastardly things to Carnage. But when you're a referee and you don the stripes, your job is to be right down the middle. And I don't think Carnage lived up to the requirements of being a referee last week here on Aftermath. Joey Staples may have the title shot. And I usually don't side with Gino Diabetes in any way, but the man does have some claim to the fact that he should possibly be in tonight's main event, if not for Carnage. Entry fifth, hailing from New York Jersey, the monster of Munich, Grim! And our final competitor will be the monster of Munich, Grim, who seemed to have a little bit of dysfunction with his partners last week. Christian Sane in full metal jacket. Matter of fact, they tried to get him to start the match, and Grim. He threw Christian Sane in to start the match. So I, I think there was a little bit of dissension on that team last week. Grim seeing five possible bodies of prey. 
in the ring here on Aftermath. The Monster Munich now finally coming up the stairs. What did I say about Entry 6, Haley from Venice Beach, California. Everman! And here comes Afroman, who last week debuted a tag team partner, registered in the tag team division, and then his partner's not even here this week. I guess he had some fun convention to go to. Maybe it was a surfer's convention. Either way, after Afroman bearing for himself here tonight on Aftermath. Afroman on Aftermath. That could be a tongue twister if you said it five or six times. Nonetheless, Afroman is our final participant in this six-man tag-in contest. Here we go, this one's gonna start off. Six man tag in rules. The way this works is as you see one man in each corner, you can tag out to anybody at any time. It's elimination rules. Last man standing is the winner. Buck Ross with a side back suplex onto Afro Man, takes him down. Afro Man firing back, as does Buck. These two men, members of the class of 2008. Trading punches back and forth. Now Afro Man with an Irish whip. Hit toss takeover by Afro Man. It wasn't pretty, but it landed Buck DeRoss on his back. And a scoop slam from Afro Man. We get a cover, and we only get two. Punch to the side of the head by Buck DeRoss. Afro Man ducks and hits Buck right in the side of the head. Bit of hesitation here from both men. These guys, they gotta stay on top of each other. They need to not have any hesitation. Oh, what a move there by Afro Man. We get a cover and we only get two. This is another mistake by Afro Man here. Taking way too much time, leaving that dead period, and this is what happens when you hesitate in the ring. Afro Man got taken down. That was a clear rookie mistake. And I'll tell you, she's a bitch. And a short arm clothesline by Buck DeRoss takes down Afro Man. Tries for it again. Boot to the midsection by Afro Man. Oh, what a move there by Afro Man. Could this be all for Buck? And yes, it is. No, it's not. I thought we had a three count there, but we only had a two and a half. Afro Man hooking him up again. Tries for the same move a second time. Maybe this one will do the job. We get a cover, we get a count, we get three. First one didn't do the job, but the second one did.